welcome back to Inlet Fishing. That is a box of line. There's 24 spools there that was sent to me by a subscriber. Now, I did a video when I opened the box. It was a fan mail video. Since then, I've done some research. Still a head scratcher, but let me tell you what I know. So, on this label, there is something that you will notice that is missing. Obviously, there is a lot of stuff missing. It doesn't say pound test on here. It says 56, I'm sorry, 0 0.56 millimeters. There's 400 meters. And it says right here, 20.2 kg. That is just 44 point something pounds. That's what that comes out to. Have you ever seen a line that was 44 pound test? That's a head scratcher, but what else is missing? Can you see it? Here, let me bring up this. This is a 40 pound test. What's missing? That word right there. This is old. Now, it's still good. Usually when I get a hold of a bunch of old mono, like if it's really old, like there's, let me pull this out. That looks really old, older than this, but they're the same. All that line is the same. When I get a hold of some old line, I'm worried that it's gonna have dry rot. As far as I know, that's not the case with the line. Well, this one, I opened this one and I checked it out. It's in good shape. But what is it? Is it 44 pound test? Well, it's something between 40 and 45. Why am I still making a video about it and talking about it? I think there's something special about this line. Now, it's not like, it's not like this line is expensive they still make this gold line as you see it's gold but they don't make a gold line that fits these particular specs on the millimeter which is the diameter the closest one that they make to that millimeter right now is the 30 pound test their 40 pound gold line is not necessarily that millimeter and doesn't come out to that because 40 pound test is about 18 something kilograms so that's a little bit over 40 pound that's 44 so well, that's the head scratcher right there 44 pound test so maybe it's like 45 but let me tell you why i think this is special and why i <laughs> i'm happy to have it here's what i usually use for catfish when I'm using mono 40 pound test high vis look at that 18.2 kilograms so this is definitely stronger than that but there is something else I want to point out now on this particular spool it doesn't list the millimeter like that diameter of the line let's unfurl this you're not you're not going to be able to see real good just here you're gonna to have to take my word for it but i'm gonna put these lines together maybe you can see the difference maybe not the gold is definitely a thinner diameter that makes me really happy that means that this line here more can go on a spool than of this and this line here can cast further because of that further than this because this is a thicker diameter now the 40 pound test in high and gold right now is a thicker diameter than this and like i said this diameter is 0.56 millimeter so they don't make this anymore i don't know how old this is i haven't seen the subscriber comment who sent this so i don't have any info from him quite yet at the time of filming this Maybe by the time this video goes live, he has told me what he knows about this. But I'm really pleased, really happy with it. I think this is just a special thing they don't make anymore. Now, this is obviously before Trilene became a part of this. Now, this is produced in the U.S. just like this right here, this newer one, produced by Pure Fishing. Pure Fishing still runs Berkeley but now they also you know have trilene they took over trilene so this is before all that there's no 
internet info on here. It's just a 1-800 number. So how old is that? In the 90s? Maybe. Maybe not as old as the 80s. Maybe like the 90s. Don't ever remember this particular line either. I've never used gold line anyway. But we are going to use it now. This is a Shakespeare Alpha 60. We are going to take this line off because it's kind of scuffed up anyway. I want to use this gold line for saltwater fishing in the immediate future. And I don't really want to use high vis in that situation. So we're going to take this off and go over to the gold. This is 40 pound test that we're putting on here. And like I said, this 40 pound high vis has a much thicker diameter. The thinner the line, the further it can cast. Looks like a bit of a waste, huh? Trust me, it was already worn out from fishing it in rough places where there was a lot of structure. So it has to be done every so often. Change out the line. So here I'm gonna compare this to some 20 pound test, but this is by Strin. Now this 20 pound test is 0.46 millimeters. Remember this one, this gold line is 0.56. So it is a bit thicker than 20 pound test. I also have another line to compare it to. This is big game, Berkeley Trilene big game 50 pound test. It is a 0.71 millimeter. So it's a lot thicker than the gold. I forgot to tell you this, the 40 pound high vis that I normally use is 0.61 millimeters. For a line that is quite possibly 44 pound test, I would feel more comfortable with saying 45. That is a very generous diameter. Remember, I can't say it enough. The thinner the diameter, the smaller the diameter, the further you can cast. So it is pretty cool to have such a high pound test and such a small diameter. And I just made a surgeon's loop there. Here's the rod we're gonna put that reel on. This is a seven foot coastal tough, medium heavy rod. I really like these rods. They're really cheap at Walmart. Now I have just a, a Daiwa Black Widow bait runner on here. I was using this for carp. We gotta take this reel off, put the other one on. And there we go. I probably put too much on, but okay. I'm planning on using this rod and reel combo here as a general bait fishing setup, but mainly to start as a pompano rod, just throwing a pompano rig out and fishing in the surf, like for stuff like pompano, channel mullet, and other things that are in the surf. Why would I go so big as 40 pound test? Well, when you're doing that, sometimes you need something like 40 pound test. And that line's not too big as diameters go. So it's maybe some diameters of 25 pound test are about like that. So yeah, pretty good. All right. You hear that? It's actually quite late at night. I don't see myself being able to sleep. There's ugh, road work going on. You know what that means. I'm gonna be fishing all night. Another thing that occurred to me, I wonder if that's too hardcore for sabiki fishing. Maybe, maybe not. The sabiki rigs that you buy are usually 20 pound test. So long story short, even though I haven't fished this line yet, I am fairly impressed with it because of the diameter being so small and you know just based on the fact it says 20.2 kg which is 44 pound test and i've never heard of 44 pound test line i just am like amazed can't wait to get out and use it which we're gonna do pretty soon yeah you're right guys what did, where did this come from a canadian car boot sale or something a garage sale in europe i don't know charlie hasn't said anything all right, guys, thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, and sharing, and I'll see you next time.